All right, dudes, you're right, I do look like an idiot. Welcome to Volcano Bay. We're going to carry on with the, uh, what's it called? What are we doing? Oh yeah, the Disney countdown thing at Volcano Bay. Right, there's music in the background, so I'm going to have to be nice and loud to go over the top of it. And today's story is... Atlantis, the Lost Empire, out for a spin. Who's that? Looks like Ethan Hawke. I'm sure it is an Ethan Hawke. A bit of Volcano Bay. Right. One day, Princess Kida was showing Milo and the rest of the explorers the wonders of Atlantis. The explorers wanted to search for treasure but Milo preferred to go exploring with Kida. I bet he did. Who's Kida? She sounds like a bit of a sort. Let's have the volcano in the back. Um, where are we? The princess led him up the staircase of a huge pyramid. When they reached the top, they found a sharp shaped vehicle. It's an architrack. I can't do it there. You'll have to, you'll have to bear with me. Let me do it from sitting down here. Ugh. That's better, we'll do it from there. The, it's an archive track, Kida told him. Who's Kida? I'm lost and we've only just started. Can we take it for a spin? Milo asked. If you wish, Kida said. Archive track. Oh, is it that thing? Is that it? Some underwater, uh, I was gonna say flying thing. It wouldn't be flying, would it, if it's underwater? I don't know. Kida used a crystal that hung around her neck to start the engine. Then she, oh, it's like one of those, we got that on our car. One of those Kida's helicopter. Yeah, we've got one of those cars. You can, you can uh, start the car before you even get in it. You just press the button and it starts and the air comes on. Anyway, I'm waffling back on. Milo pushed the button and the architect blasted into the sky. He and Kida, dive low over the water skimming the waves suddenly a school of flying fish burst out of the water and surrounded the flyer one flap to milo's does that say flyer that doesn't make any else yeah one flap to milo's face and he nearly lost control get a grip get a grip milo it's only a flyer whatever that is We've got to get back to the land, he exclaimed. The, why is he panicking? They've only just gone out. The architrack shot up into the sky. Beware of the cliffs ahead, Kida warned. Might the right couple of stress heads, these two. Milo moved to manoeuvre the vehicle, but the architrack could not fly high enough. They were about to crash. This is a disaster. They've got into the keyless car flying contraption and uh, all, straight away they've gone oh watch out watch out maybe they shouldn't be doing it for that bother have a look at that volcano look the cave kind of crowd pointing to a hole in the side of the mountain milo steered hang on i've got to open it up milo steered the architrack through the entrance twisting the flyer he dodged stalactites hanging from the cavern roof then he saw the Stalactites. I went to Wookie Hole once and there was one that was like a doody and uh, I, it was making me laugh. That was the best thing about Wookie Hole. Oh, and I got a free bit of cheese at the end. That was lush. Wookie Hole cheese. Twisting the flyer, he dodged stalactites hanging from the cab. I've already read that. Then he saw the head of a huge stonefish in the cave wall. Its mouth was open and daylight streamed through it. He twisted the controls and the architrack flew right through the fish's gaping mouth. What's the architrack again? Just then the flyer's tail. Is the flyer and the architrack the same thing? I'm completely confused by this. Just might have helped if I'd seen the film. I haven't seen the film. The flyer hit the side of the pyramid and bounced. They're in Egypt then, I take it, for these pyramids. I thought Atlantis was hidden. Well, according to this, it's in Egypt. Now everyone will know where it is. Lost city by the bottom. The flyer hit the side of the pyramid and bounced. It landed at the exact spot where 
Kida and Milo first found it. So it wasn't even theirs, they nicked it. The others heard the crash and rushed over. They found Milo and Kida standing next to the wrecked flyer. What happened? Audrey cried. We went out for a spin, Milo said. Who's Audrey? This is getting more confusing. We've only got four lines left. Now, are you saying you actually flew this wreck? Audrey demanded. She demanded. Ooh, she quite demanding then. I did, said Milo. But it's pretty obvious I need to sign up for Atlantean driving lessons. He also needs to go back to school and, and learn that he shouldn't be nicking... Um, what was it called again? I've just read the story and I can't even remember what it was called. Let's go back to the beginning. What was the name of those ships called? The Architrack. Oh, Act Actirak. He shouldn't go nicking Actiraks and then be, and then have an immediate panic about it and then um, and then dodging uh, those willy things. Right, okay, that was a disaster. Welcome to Volcano Bay and that was December 7th. I'll see you tomorrow for December 8th. Right, I'm just going to walk around Volcano Bay for a bit. You might as well enjoy this while we're here. Do you know what? I'm the only person here with this Father Christmas hour. Right. Let's walk all the way down to there and have a look at that with me wearing this looking like a right club. I wonder what it's like back at home. But it's cold, it's not cold here. This is all right, isn't it? Should go for a swim. Should go for a swim with the hat on. Uh, let's do it. Oh, another helicopter going over. Right, I'm calling it a day. Well, thanks for watching. I'll see you later, dudes. Cheers. Bye. Oh, it's time for Christmas. Oh, it's time.